Pakistan should not, and Afghanistan should be people. Should All be these are going to eat you, Mr. President. Okay, just stay. She, she's telling me, just sit, don't move. <laughs> she's a teacher. I'm the teacher, you know. She's a teacher. Welcome to the South Lawn. Thank you and happy, happy Easter. <laughs> All right. Wait. Wait. Were you involved in creating the October 4th memorandum from the Attorney General directing law enforcement to target parents at school boards? Um, the October 4th uh, memorandum that your question refers to against uh, school workers. Ms. Anselman, our time is limited here and I asked a simple question. I, I know what the memorandum says. It also talks about intimidation and harassment. Were you involved in creating that memorandum? Um, Senator, in my role as chief counsel to the Attorney General, um, with regard to matters that came before the Attorney General, um, I generally had um, visibility into most matters that came before the Attorney General. This, as the Attorney General has said, was a memo that, that he issued. This is his, his memo. So, so were you personally involved in that matter or not? You gave a general answer. I want a specific answer about this memo. Senator, um, I want to be as, as forthcoming with you as, a, as I can be. Um, when uh, matters come before the Attorney General, uh, my role... I'm not role talking about matters. I'm talking about this matter, this specific memo. Were you involved in creating this memo with your boss, Merrick Garland? Generally, my role in matters that came before the Attorney General is to uh, do any of a variety of things. I might okay, sit so, in on a So meeting. I take it you're not going to give me an answer to that question then, since you've not answered it now repeatedly. Senator, I would like to be as... as um, as transparent with you as possible, but I hope you'll understand. Well, there's no reason that you can't. I mean, I'm not asking you what advice you gave. I'm not, this is not a legal case. This is a policy decision. You were a counselor to the Attorney General, and you don't want to answer it. Senator, um, with regard to matters that came before the Attorney General, most matters that came before the Attorney General, I would have visibility on it. Um, that could range from setting up uh, a meeting, attending a meeting, advising him on um, associated statements or actions, uh, and I, I hope you'll um, understand the need for the Attorney General to receive confidential advice. But with regard what? to most matters that the AG was personally involved in, and, and in this matter he certainly was, this was his memo, um, I would have some visibility into it at a minimum. Um, what about the U.S. Marshals in Portland? Now left-wing activist groups have been suing the Marshals who bravely defended it. The department has hung out to dry four Deputy U.S. Marshals, they're not paying to represent them in those lawsuits. Were you involved in the decision not to represent those marshals in those lawsuits? Uh, Senator, I understand um, your concern about this matter. My understanding is that the department is defending um, many officers. Um, they're defending 70, but I, I didn't ask about the 70. I asked about the four. I assume you're familiar with the parable of the lost sheep. Shepherd left 99 to go get the one because he wanted to save the one. I'm worried about the four. I'm not worried about the 70. Um, I understand, Senator. My understanding is that generally the, uh, these decisions about representation, either having the Justice Department represent or pay for representation, um, they are made pursuant to uh, departmental regulations. Um, and uh, the division that primarily works on those matters is the civil division and the um, or the U.S. Attorney's offices who are the subject matter experts on those matters. Okay, so no answer on that one either. I assume we're not going to get an answer if you were involved in the cancellation of the China initiative? With regard to the China initiative, is the department's position on that uh, is public, um, and um, uh, Attorney General Olson has made uh, his decision on that matter um, clear. I'm um, happy to okay. address it in, in more detail. Okay, so, so the, that's the third case in which we won't get an answer on that. Um, senior leadership in the CIA or at the National Security Council will ask you to provide legal cover for actions they don't want to take that are perfectly legal. So they probed it. Would you stand up to someone and say, this is illegal? I want to know if an action or policy is legal but you've been told that, you, that the agency or the administration doesn't want to take it, will you give your best legal advice that it is illegal, you're making a policy decision? Um, Senator, as a lawyer, I view it as my primary responsibility to give my best legal advice, my most candid, 
forthright legal advice based on the facts and the law on any matter. That is what I've done in my current job, in my past jobs, and that is what I would do if confirmed to this position. Even if you know that superiors at the CIA or the NS NSC do not want to pursue that course of action, will you still give them the advice that that course of action is legal if they choose to pursue it? Senator, I would always give my best legal advice regardless of what um, what a client, um, what, what, what outcome I believe the client wants to get to, if, if I'm understanding the question correctly. I view it as my duty to give them my straight view on the law and on the facts uh, of a given matter. Well, I mean, my, my concern, I mean, there's, a, there's a, some people on the front lines in the agency, or for that matter, in other departments like the Department of Defense, think that lawyers are always looking for a way to get to know, especially if it's an aggressive operation or policy. I, I'm as concerned that lawyers are being directed to get to know by policymakers above them, but my time is up. I think the, the witness, I, I understand, and I apologize for having to step out briefly for a meeting. Um, I heard when asked for questions about saying, if you see something illegal, you point it out. If you see something that's legal and you're being told it's not, you know, you won't reach another opinion, you're going to give an, your best answer. And I think that's why I believe you were nominated in, uh, by the administration. And, um, that's, I think, reflected in your background. Senator Cornyn. Uh, 